Hey, welcome back to Central Park in our children's library. Today's story is about Moses, which you can find in Exodus chapter 1 through 15. After Joseph, there was a new king. He was afraid of God's people. He thought they might try to take over his kingdom. So the king made God's people work hard so they would be tired. One day the king shouted, I do not like these people. Throw their baby boys into the river. One mother planned to save her baby. She hid him in a basket and floated, in the, floated it in the river. She told the baby's sister to watch over him, and the king's daughter found the baby, and she wanted to keep him. The baby's sister asked, Do you need help with this baby? And when the princess said yes, the baby's sister brought her the mother to help. So the baby's mother took care of him and she taught him many things and when it came time she took the child to live in the palace with the princess. The princess named the baby Moses. As Moses grew up he had many nice things. He had good books to read, good food to eat, and nice clothes to wear. But even with all these things he was still unhappy living in the palace. Moses did not like the way the king treated God's people. And the king made them work very hard and was mean to them and Moses wanted to move away from the mean king. He decided to leave the palace, so one day Moses left everything behind in Egypt, and he traveled far away to become a shepherd. Once while Moses was watching the sheep, he saw a burning bush. The bush did not burn up even though it was on fire, and God spoke to Moses through the burning bush. He said, Moses, I want you to go back to Egypt. You must tell the king, let my people go. And Moses wanted to obey God, but he was afraid. God said, Do not be afraid, Moses. I will be with you. But Moses was still afraid. He asked God, What if the king does not listen to me? So God said to Moses, Throw your staff onto the ground. And when Moses did this, the staff turned into a snake. Then God told them to pick it up again. And Moses did what God had told him, and the snake turned back into a staff. God said, I will use signs like this to show the king that I am with you. And Moses trusted God and went to Egypt. So he went to see the king. Let God's people go, he said. But the king was very stubborn. He refused to obey God's command. Moses wanted to show the king that God was with him. And God sent many plagues upon the land. He made all the water in the land turn into blood. And no one could drink it. Even the fish could not live in the water. But the king would not let God's people go. So God sent frogs, and then he turned the dust on the ground into pesky gnats. The king said, I will not let the people go. God sent flies to Egypt for the next plague, and the king sent for Moses. He said, Your God is much too powerful. Take your people and go away. The king also told Moses to take the flies away. But when Moses took the flies away, the king charged his, changed his mind. He made God's people stay. Next, God made the Egyptians and their animals sick. The king would still not let God's people go, so God made hell fall on the ground. It ruined all the Egyptians' food. The king said, Enough, take your people and go. But as soon as the hell stopped, the king changed his mind. God was determined to show his power. For the next plague, locusts were sent to eat all the fruit on the trees. The king said, Take away all the pests, and then you may go. But the king did not keep his word, even after God made complete darkness fall over the land for three whole days and nights. The king would not let God's people leave. So God said, the oldest boy child in each Egyptian family will die. The others will be safe. These things happened just as God said. Finally, the king called for Moses and said, take God's people and go. So God's people left Egypt quickly. God helped them find their way through the desert. He led them with a cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. And after they had traveled for many miles, God's people arrived at the Red Sea. By this time, the king had changed his mind again. He sent an army to bring them back. Now God's people were trapped between the Red Sea and the king's army. Moses reminded God's people, Do not worry, God is with us. God took care of them. He sent a big wind. It made a dry path right through the middle of the sea. God's people walked on the path and safely over to the other side. The king's army tried to follow them through the sea, but God protected his people. He closed the water back over the army, and God's people were happy to finally be free and safe. They sang songs of praise to God. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed that Bible story today. Again, read along with your family about these stories. Have a great day.